Welcome, Amit. Uh, it's a great day for us. We have a very, very special product for, for the launch today. And you have been a part of this event. It's really wonderful to have you. Well, it's really wonderful to be here today. Uh, I must say that my association with Vivo has been for some months now, and uh, I've had a really uh, wonderful experience uh, experiencing the product, using the product, and working with the entire Vivo team. I must say that it's been a real pleasure working with the team. It's a really uh, motivated team, a team which is very down to earth and is very focused. So it's been a real pleasure working with the Vivo team. Sure, thank you so much. And you know, I've had the uh, uh, opportunity of using the Vivo V11 because when we were shooting the ad, I was using the phone and then I actually, without the team knowing, I kind of kept it with myself. <laughs> So when they were searching at the end of the ad, where's the phone? It was finally in my pocket. So I said, let me use the phone before it's launched. And I think I'm the only one who's had the privilege to use the phone before it's been launched. Yeah, yeah. After our product team, uh, he was the first guy who was using the Vivo V11 Pro. <laughs> <laughs> well, and I must say that what I was I really liked about it is, uh, you know, your in-display fingerprint. Uh, sure. Because usually the phones so far have got uh, fingerprint, uh, you know, feature to open the phone, but they're not in the display. There's a little band in the bottom, so your screen becomes smaller. But in, in this Vivo, the, the fingerprint opening thing is on the display, so that makes your screen larger. And it's great for me because I like to watch a lot of content you know, on, on the phone. Sharing the stage with you is certainly a fanboy moment for me. Have you also ever had a fanboy moment? Well, you know, uh, I have actually. Okay. Uh, as, as you know, you I'm uh, shooting for a film called Thugs of Hindustan. And I've been a huge, huge fan of Mr. Bachchan all along. So, uh, when I got to know I'm working with him, it was very exciting. And finally, I was in front of him. You know, the first day of rehearsals, when we were sitting and reading the scenes together. It was a really a fanboy moment for me. I couldn't speak properly. I couldn't remember my lines. I, I was going all over the place. Uh, and I must tell you that it's been a real joy for me that, you know, every day through the shooting of the film that I've sat next to him uh, while we are shooting. Every, every day of the shoot of the film has been a fanboy moment for me. Yeah. <laughs> my real life, my day is far from being perfect. I am someone who is extremely chaotic. Uh, I, I get lost in my head all the time. So when I'm sitting in a meeting which is supposed to be for one hour, it usually goes on for two hours. And uh, then I remember that there's something else I have to do. And so my day usually, you know, uh, becomes longer than it tends to be. So I, can, I'm, I'm, I get lost in my work and, and things take longer than I thought they would. So usually my day is very chaotic. Okay. So it's not the perfect... <laughs> no, it's not. No, no, no. no. Okay. okay. Uh, and you're known by many names. You know, Mr. Perfectionist, Maverick, Superstar, and maybe some other which we don't know. Which one's your favorite? Well, you know, the, the fact is that I don't see myself as any of these things. I see myself as someone who's uh, trying to learn. And each film that I do, each job that I do, whether it's Vivo or a film or a Septime Vijayate or Pani Foundation, no matter what I'm doing, it's a learning experience for me. It's a journey for me. And, and I see myself actually as someone who's a learner, who's got a curious mind. Like I feel I'm a student of whatever I'm dealing with. Everything is new and everything I... I try and learn from. Yeah, that's how I see myself. Sure. Okay, great. Uh, I think during the shoot, I also saw you uh, clicking like quite a lot of pictures. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I want to know what's your experience of taking the pictures on the B11 Pro. Well, you know, I'm I'm someone who's not very good with cameras. So yes, so many cameras are there. Behind, who digital cameras, and I don't know how to even focus properly. So I'm someone who needs a camera which I can just point and shoot. So uh, a, a phone camera is great for me and I think what is special about the Vivo phone camera is that it's, uh, you know, even in low light you can click photographs. Uh, and it it's, it's gives you great quality pictures without being a professional photographer like I'm not. Uh, in fact, recently, uh, I don't know whether you've seen the latest uh, Instagram picture of mine, of Kiran and Aza and Imli and Lord. So that was taken in very low light actually. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I think uh, the phone's got a great uh, camera, which is wonderful for a person like me. I mean, I think most of us are not professional photographers. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, you know, with every, in every launch, I've heard that you also get nervous before any big film launch. This is our big day, and I am also a little nervous. 
Any, any tips for that? <laughs> well, you know, I've already started getting nervous about my film. It's two months away and I'm already nervous. So I can imagine your state of mind. But, uh, you know, after I did uh, three years, I got a nice little solution. It helps you in little, little ways. You, put, you take your right hand and put it on your heart and you say, all is well. All is well. Have you uh, enjoyed being with us today? Yes, very much. Very much. Yeah. All is well. <laughs> Without further ado, I would like to invite on stage Mr. Ken Cheng, CEO Vivo, to please come say a few words and unveil the product. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for joining us here. So we will. We love Pro. It's priced at 25,990 rupees. Proper from today and the first set starts on 12th September. Thank you for all your support, love and care to Weibo. Presenting to you the Weibo Weibo Pro.